under the Cocoa Road project, Mr. Speaker, these roads are at the heart of development of this country because Cocoa is the backbone of this country. But, Mr. Speaker, you will be surprised to know, and as you are aware, the Chief Executive of Cocoa Board have put uh, together a document that is circulating, claiming they are interim report. Mr. Speaker, in that report, it is suggested that it is suggested that there are ghost roads. Mr. Speaker, I dare the Chief Executive of Cocoa Board. There's not a single unaccounted road in this country. I'm daring, daring him this afternoon. Name the Cocoa Road, road that is a, a ghost project. Mr. Speaker, I can also tell you on authority, there's not a single project which has been inflated. Mr. Speaker, are you aware that all those roads have been selected, prepared, packaged, awarded by the agencies and the Ministry of Road and, and Highways? And none of those roads, projects, have been inflated. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell this House, we need to encourage the Chief, Chief Executive of Cocoa Board to publish the so-called report that he's a brandishing pretending actually tarnishing the names of good people, engineers and quality surveyors at the road ministry. Mr. Speaker, there is no cocoa road that is missing. All the 232 projects are accounted for. Mr. Speaker, the sad thing is that some of those roads lead to places that poor people, poor cocoa farmers live. And today, because of the singular action of the chief executive of Cocoa Board and the board to, to suspend those projects, those people are living in a bad uh, condition.